It's the kickoff of our 60th birthday party. So it's uh, bringing our community onto campus and all those people who are here to celebrate with us what the past 60 years that we are, um, all the accomplishments that we've made, and then now looking for the next 60 years. So it's, it's a community event, it's a celebration, it's a celebration under the stars, it's so beautiful. And uh, it's just wonderful to see everybody on campus. We've grown from a couple dozen students to over 19,000 students. And uh, we have grown in terms of the programs that we offer. And really, some of the great celebrations that we're having are some of the things that have happened just recently. We opened a new dormitory in 2022, or not dormitory, a residence in 2022. Um, added 300 beds. It's 300 more students on campus getting that, that in-person experience. We've opened a um, uh, simulator in our nursing program. And so students get hands-on experience with simulated patients. Uh, we've opened a validating prototyping manufacturing institute, which is an industry industry facing uh, group where industry can come in. They can bring their challenges to Brock, and researchers work with them on uh, cutting edge technology and equipment. The university has been in overdrive mode, getting ready to ring in 60. No other department has been busier, however, than the Brock Alumni Association. We've had the Steel Blade Classic last night, our hockey game that we've been doing for 25 years, and tonight is this amazing celebration, the Skyline celebration, where we're out on the mezzanine above the tower here um, to, do, uh, to celebrate all things Brock from the past 60 years. What did the association do to really prepare for not just today, but this year? Yeah, for sure. So uh, my association's been involved with the working groups of the, the whole planning for this, these events. Um, we actually commissioned this, this 60th anniversary pin, which we've been handing out to our award winners um, and other VIPs across the, the event. Um, we're, we've been thrilled to support the recognition of excellence that's been going on here. And, uh, you know, we've got our, our big award event tomorrow where we're handing out our big uh, faculty and alumni awards. Um, to another amazing group of 10 graduates at Brock University who are doing amazing things. A Brock alumnus that is showcasing his support for 60 years is Vince Anania. After graduating from the university, Vince spent 37 and a half years as an educator with the Niagara Catholic District School Board. You came to Brock in the 1980s. Tell me about your time here. Loved it here. I was uh, <laughs> a lot of fun here. I worked very, very hard as a student. I was on uh, the Dean's uh, list uh, when I was here for the four years. I worked very hard, but I also balanced my, my uh, ed, uh, career here at Brock, being involved with the basketball team and enjoyed the social aspect of the university. And that's, as a, as a proud alumni, I talk to a lot of the first year students by telling them that you have to balance uh, work, school work, as well as enjoying the social life of, of uh, other students and, and get, involved, get involved, get involved in that athletics, get involved in clubs, just get involved in meeting people. You kept your relationship with Brock through those years, why? This university, I, I love it because it was good to me. It gave me the opportunity to be where I am today. I met wonderful people, and I just continued being here. So you keep networking and meet with other people, and you just mushrooms, and, and, and the people here are nice. The people are very personable. That's why I say when, when I talk to a lot of uh, um, people around the Niagara region, you know, how do you compare Brock to University of Toronto or McMaster? I said, all the programs are good, They're, wherever you go at any university. But this university here is very personable. They care about you, they know your name. Like, my goodness, like, um, you know, with uh, Dr. Rigg, the president, um, she's wonderful, down to earth, and she's very sociable, and everybody here is just like that, very relaxed and comfortable. Brock will be celebrating all year long with many more activities for current students and staff and alumnus to get involved with. What we're doing is we're celebrating where we are, not just who we are. And so when you're out on the roof and you're up here on the escarpment, you're, you get to appreciate all that Niagara is. So it's a, a celebrating of not just the fact that Brock University is sitting in Niagara, it's that Brock University is of Niagara, and you get to see that if you're outside. In St. Catharines for The Source, I'm Anthony Luongo.